My name is Patrick Kong and I'm representing Smash Gyms. Today I'm going to go over a throw called the uh, Morote Seonagi. There's two variations of the Morote Seonagi. The standing one and the uh, drop knee one. One more. Seonagi's um, have four rules and criteria to set Seonagi up. The first rule is the, uh, the gripping, uh, gripping pattern. The second one is the uh, movements for the setup. The third one is the throw itself, and the fourth, uh, fourth step will be the, uh, the finish of the throw. Uh, Hailing Tanimoto over here will be uh, helping me demonstrating the technique. The first step is to strip the grip if he has this 50-50 uh, grip. Um, it's banned in regular judo right now, but um, in jiu-jitsu it's okay. Grab the fat of the hand like this, grab, the, um, grab this part of the sleeve. Keep your shoulders relaxed down and just pull straight down and shake the grip off. The second way to break the grip is I would grab the wrist, pull this way, and, pu and push it straight down. The second step of the Seonagi is after you have your grip is, to, um, is the movement. First step of the movement is you want to move him in a circle. I would put my left foot first on top and I would pull my right arm downwards. Put your right foot behind his foot. Put your uh, left, fo left foot back and just push backwards. Once he settles, to start to throw, you pull up like this. Don't pull straight, don't pull straight up. Pull to the side. Step two, put your elbow under his armpit and jump in between his legs like so. This is the target right here. I'm gonna put my butt right through this hole. Your elbow should go right under his armpit to form a frame. Your left hand should be up like this, ready to pull. This is where the throw comes in when you pull downward, when you pull downwards. Step three would be to finish the throw, would be to turn and look that way. If the throw is done right, he'll land in, uh, in perpen land perpendicular to you. Once he lands perpendicular to you, Start pinning and start doing what you need to do to finish them off. If you don't pull this way and you don't put, jump, your hip in, jump your hips in between his legs, you wind up like this. If you wind up like this, throw can't be finished. He's just going to go around you and uh, do what he needs to do to finish you off. Okay. Uh, another common problem is that the elbow gets jammed a lot. It's because the geese too tight. What I do is this. I try to keep it forward. I always slide. I always um, slide my right hand down towards this way. If if there's no slack in the e, this allows me. This gives me some slack, and I can actually pull. Still do that upwards pull and finish. This is how I set my seonagi up. Strip the grip. Make sure I have a grip that I'm comfortable with. Move move my uh, partner in a circle. Push him towards this way with the uh, with a kick or something to want to open up the uh, open up my target spot. Once he steps back, pull straight up, rotate, finish the throw. And there you have it, the Seonagi. If you have any questions about it, feel free to come to my class Tuesday or Thursday. More than happy to drill it with you or answer any specific questions you may have about the throw.